हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर वी एन देशमुख असोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट सुधाकर राव नाइक इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी पुसद फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन एस्टिमेशन एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ सिन्नोसाइड सिन्नोसाइड दे आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द सिन्ना दैट इज इंडियन सिन्ना एंड अलेक्जेंड्रियन सिन्ना फ्रॉम दीज टू वेराइटीज दीज Sinna is obtained, and this sinna contain the active chemical constituents. That is the anthraquinone glycoside. They are the sinnoside. They are the sinnoside A, sinnoside B, sinnoside C, and sinnoside D are the active chemical constituents which are present in the sinna. In the picture, you can see the sinna plant. You can see this. These are the sinna plants along with the pods so two types of the varieties of this sinna are there that is the alexandrian sinna and the indian sinna belonging to family leguminosae so let us study the sinnoside so sinnoside are the anthraquinone glycosides obtained from the leaflets of the cassia angustifolia and the cassia acutifolia cassia angustifolia it is called as an indian sinna and cassia acutifolia it is called as the alexandrian sinna cassia angustifolia indian sinna cassia acutifolia alexandrian sinna belonging to family leguminosae so this belongs to category of the glycoside that is the anthraquinone glycosides these glycosides are the compounds which on hydrolysis either the acid or the enzymatic hydrolysis they gives the glycon and a glycon moiety that is the sugar and non sugar moiety and of this the non sugar moiety has an therapeutic utility indian sinna should contain at least 2% of the sinnoside as a calcium sinnoside so in case of the indian sinna there should be more than or at least 2% of the sinnoside as a calcium sinnoside this glycoside was first isolated from the sinna leaf in late 1940 commercially sinnosides are isolated as an calcium salts of the sinnosides so during the isolation of the sinnoside in the last steps they are converted into the calcium salts and called as calcium sinnosides industrial production of these sinnosides first method for the industrial production that is the sinna leaves they are taken then they are coarsely powdered sinna leaves taken coarsely powdered and extracted with the benzene with the succinate apparatus by using a succinate apparatus it is extracted with the benzene for 2 to 3 hours to remove the chlorophyll so that the chlorophyll which is present because the drug it is obtained from the leaflets that is from the leaf and to separate the chlorophyll from the leaf so first of all the sinna leaf they are powdered and then extracted with the benzene for 2 to 3 hours after completion of 2 to 3 hours then you have to filter then you have to filter and you have to remove the filtrate and you have to dry the mark at room temperature you have to dry the mark at room temperature further this dried mark it is extracted with 70% of the methanol for 4 to 6 hours dried mark is taken then extracted with 70% of methanol for 4 to 6 hours extraction repeated for twice for complete removal of the sinusoid mark so again filter it again take a fresh methanol and again repeat the same process of the extraction so that the total sinusoids which are present in case of the mark can be removed totally then combine both the extract combine both methanol extract and concentrate it concentrate the extract combine both the extract methanolic extract and concentrate it this concentrated extract to this concentrated extract add hydrochloric acid that is by adding the hydrochloric acid you have to adjust the ph to 3.2 and then kept it aside for 2 hours then you have to kept it aside for 2 hours at 5 degrees celsius at the 5 degrees celsius you have to keep it aside for 2 hours then this acidified extract which is acidified with the hydrochloric acid then it is again filtered and the filtrate 
which is obtained it is treated with anhydrous calcium chloride it is treated with the anhydrous calcium chloride that is which is prepared in 25 ml of denatured spirit and then you have to stir it continuously the mixture solution again adjusted ph to 8 by using ammonia this mixture solution which is obtained in above here in this where the mixture solution is obtained it is treated with the ammonia to adjust the ph to 8 and set aside for 2 hours so that the precipitation of the sinusoid will occur so this precipitate is collected by filtration then the precipitate dried over a diphosphorus pentoxide in desiccator the obtained sinusoids are the mixture of the glycosides they are the sinusoid a b c and t are present in the mixture so in this way you can isolate the sinusoids which are present in sinna this is the first method which is used for the extraction of the sinusoid from the sinna another method that is the method 2 for the extraction of the sinusoid so in this case the sinna leaves they are taken dried coarsely powdered and extracted with ethanolic chloroform they are extracted with the ethanolic chloroform this ethanolic chloroform it is prepared by taking 93 is to 7 chloroform and ethanol and the extraction it is done for 30 to 1 hour for 30 minutes to 1 hour the extraction is done so firstly you have to take the sinna leaf dry it coarsely powder it and extract with the ethanolic chloroform then filter the mark separated and the mark again re extracted with acidic methanol again with the acidic methanol the re extract the mark that is 12 g per liter of oxalic acid in methanol it is used then combine both the extract the first extract which is prepared with the ethanolic chloroform and the next extract which is prepared with the acidic methanol combine both the extract you have to combine both the extract and they are concentrated and set aside for 24 hours the precipitation of the sinusoid will occur the sinusoid a will precipitate out while the other sinusoid will remain in the solution other sinusoids will remain in the solution this sinusoid a which get precipitate out you have to separate it by filtration so filtered sinusoid a will be obtained which is collected purified by recrystallization with trimethyl amine you have to recrystallize the collected sinusoid a with the trimethyl amine so pure form of the sinusoid a will be obtained then the sinusoid b which remain in the filtrate which remains in the filtrate this sinusoid a which is present in the filtrate precipitated by 10% of methanolic calcium chloride to it added 10% of methanolic calcium chloride the precipitation of calcium sinusoid will occur and separate by washing with methanolic ammonia so the precipitate of the calcium sinusoid will form which is separated and it is washed with the methanolic ammonia solution the methanolic ammonia solution it is prepared 40 is to 60 using ammonia and methanol so the sinusoid b present in the filtrate it is precipitated by 10% of the methanolic calcium chloride the precipitate of the calcium sinusoid separated by the washing with methanolic ammonia solution then this methanolic ammonia solution concentrated this methanolic ammonia solution it is concentrated and it is washed with the water washed with the water recrystallized using a glycol monoethyl ether so you have to concentrate the methanolic ammonia solution filter it the precipitate which is obtained it is washed with the water and recrystallized by using a glycol monoether so here you will get the sinusoid b in the form of the calcium sinusoid in the form of the in this way you can extract the sinusoid a and sinusoid b by this method then third method is 
the cinna leaf they are powdered and macerated with the citric acid in methanol the cinna leaf powder is taken then it is macerated with the citric acid in methanol and it is followed by the extraction with methanol toluene mixture then it is extracted with methanol toluene mixture and ammonia so the cinna leaf they are taken powdered macerated with the citric acid in methanol followed extraction with methanol toluene mixture and ammonia again the extraction is done the obtained extract to it added calcium chloride to the above extract added a calcium chloride precipitation of respective salts of the sinusoid will takes place precipitation of the salts of the sinusoids in the form of the calcium sinusoid will occur for the purification it is filtered and for the purification and the separation of the individual sinusoids can be achieved through column separation so it contain this mixture it will contain all the sinusoid that is the sinusoid a b c and d and all these sinusoids they are separated by using a column chromatography by using the column chromatography the stationary phase you have to use that is the non polar synthetic resin having a porous structural features can be used and all the sinusoids they are separated out that is the sinusoid a sinusoid b sinusoid c and sinusoid d in the form of the calcium salts of the sinusoids they are separated out then the estimation estimation it is done as per as the ip 2007 method in this case the test and the standard solutions they are prepared the predetermined concentrations of the test and the standard sinusoids solution in methanol is prepared that is methanol it is used as an solvent and predetermined concentration of both the standard as well as the test is prepared then experimental conditions experimental conditions in this case the column which is used for the column chromatography that is c18 25 cm in length and 4.6 mm in width it is used then mobile phase 1% of acetic acid in water is to acetonitrile in the ratio of 82 is to 18 it is used fluorate of the mobile phase it is 1 ml per minute detection it is done at 350 nanometer inject the test and the standard solution and calculate the contents of the sinusoid so you have to inject the standard and you have to inject the test solution and depending upon the standard you can determine how much amount of the test it is present or how much amount of the sinusoids they are present in the test can be determined so in this way the estimation of the sinusoid it is done by hplc method utilization cinna it is used in the treatment of constipation as the cinna it is an irritant purgative it is an irritant purgative it causes the irritation of the smooth muscle of the gastrointestinal tract so that it will cause the evacuation of the bowel so it is used in the treatment of constipation by stimulating intestinal peristalsis then it is useful in painful hemorrhoids as it ensures soft and easy bowel movement so it is used in case of the treatment of the piles in the treatment of the hemorrhoids it is used that is it due to the presence of the sinusoids they will be easy for the evacuation then it is also used in the treatment of various skin diseases like the acne and the eczema it is used for the skin diseases such as the acne and the eczema it is used as an anti helminthic since it expels intestinal worm so the worms which are present in case of the intestine it is can be expelled by the sinusoids and lastly it is used in a loss of appetite for the treatment of dysentery hepatomegaly that is increase in the size of the liver splenomegaly that is increase in the size of the spleen it is used for the treatment of indigestion for the treatment of malaria jaundice biliousness increase in the amount of the bile 
it is also used for the treatment of the gout rheumatism and anemia so in this way it is used for the appetite loss of appetite dysentery hepatomegaly splenomegaly indigestion malaria jaundice biliousness gout rheumatism and anemia so this is all about the synocytes which are obtained from the senna leaflets that is cassia acutifolia and cassia angustifolia belonging to family leguminosae the synocytes they are the synocyte a synocyte b synocyte c and synocyte d which are separated as and calcium synocytes thank you very much